Hi guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Matthew and I'm here to show you around this 2014 Toyota Hilux SR5. As you can see from the front, it is in the beautiful grey paintwork. You do have that um, big bull bar on the front there and you do have your big driving lights down the bottom with your extra indicators and parking lights in, built into the um, bull bar itself as well. You got your air intake on top um, and as you can see, from the front there is no stone chips through the front of the vehicle either. Working our way down the driver's side of the vehicle to our first alloy wheel, as you can see it is in great condition, no scarf marks through there and you've still got heaps of tread left on these tyres as well. You do have your chrome side mirrors with your indicators built into it as well. You've got your highlight, chromed Hilux badging, 3.0 D4D. Um, uh, badging as well, which I will go into a little bit later when we pop the bonnet as well. Working our way down, these two doors present in amazing condition. Um, no scratch work that I can point out. And you've also got the weather shields up the top as well, which do help you um, when it's raining. You can have the windows down a little bit and you can also have the windows down a little bit in summer as well. Um, so when you leave the car, it's not as noticeable that you have your windows down and it's harder for people to get into it as well. You got your chrome door handles and you do have a side step as well to help short people like myself into the vehicle. Looking at our second alloy wheel here, again presents in great condition and we've still got plenty of tread on those tyres as well. Looking in the back of the um, tub now, we do have a genuine Toyota tub liner on here. Um, so that's one less thing that you have to worry about. I do recommend you'll either, you either get a hard lid or a tonneau cover fitted to this as well. With You've got your big um, Toyota uh, stickering along the back which Toyota is known for on their Hiluxes and you do have your chromed Hilux and your SR5 badging as well. This car does also have a reverse parking um, camera which is just in here and it does have reverse parking sensors which are just down the bottom here hidden behind this step. This step is good for when you need to get in to the back and get stuff out of it you're not trying to get over the top there and getting all your clothes dirty at the same time. Working our way down the passenger side of the vehicle there is a little scratch there that has been touched up um, but again it is a 2014 model so there are going to be a little a few scratches on it. Um, looking at our third alloy wheel again presents in great condition and still plenty of tread on these tyres. Fuel filler cap is on your passenger side as well so something to take note of um, and again these two doors present in nearly um, immaculate condition. I can't see any scratches on there, um, doesn't mean there aren't any but I can't, definitely can't see any on here. Well, looking at our fourth alloy wheel now, again presents in great condition like the last three. This is normally the one that has um, gutter rashing through it because it's the one that you can't see the kerb and you've still got plenty of tread life on these tyres. What we're going to do next is we're going to pop the bonnet and check out the engine underneath. Alright guys, just pop the bonnet on this 2014 Toyota Hilux. It does have a four cylinder, three litre turbo diesel engine. This car does have a five star ANCAP safety rating and it does have six airbags. This engine does produce 123 kilowatts of power and 360 newton metres of torque. It does have a 76 litre diesel tank. Your fuel consumption in this, you get about 8.7 litres to the 100 kilometres, giving you roughly about 870 kilometres to the tank of fuel. All right guys, here we are inside the Toyota Hilux. Just gonna show you some of the features of this vehicle. Start you off with the driver's side armrest here, where you've got your four window buttons, your window locking button, and you do have your button for your central locking. Just looking through the steering wheel now, you do have a cup holder here, it just folds out like that and just below you do have your little joystick to change um, the angle of your side mirrors and you do have your little wheel here to change the illumination in your cluster. Also got auto headlights in this model as well so you can just switch, switch them to auto and it'll do the rest and on the opposite side you do have your um, windscreen washers. On our steering wheel here it does show a little bit of wear through here um, but other than that it's not inconsistent with the age of the vehicle. You've got 
your cruise control just back here if you the camera can see it it is on a little toggle you push it um, in for on push it down to set up to reset and pull it towards you to cancel got your buttons on your left hand side for your entertainment system and on the right hand side you have your um, Bluetooth and your display settings so just up here you saw the display button just up here you do have your um, it does change in here so it shows you average kilometers per hour um, your your range shows you the direction that you're traveling in outside temperature average fuel consumption and so on and so forth looking down here you do have your satellite navigation built into this and you've also got your AM, FM radio, Bluetooth audio, auxiliary as well. Working our way down, you do have your single zone climate control. So temperature up and down on one side and the fan on the other side. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit because it's warm in here. Um, and basically everybody else knows how the other buttons work. Little ashtray in there. Just below it, you have your traction control off button, 12 volt socket, another 12 volt socket on this side as well and you do have your USB and auxiliary point in here. On this side, you've also got a power heat button and what that is is so on a cold day, you can actually just turn it on and the engine will rev up a little bit higher so that the engine will warm up quicker so that you're not driving a cold diesel engine. You do have your four wheel drive selector and your automatic transmission just there. You've got a cup holder, a little tray here that you can store stuff in, and then you've got a little pocket on the side. Just in your center console here, you do have plenty of space in there to store whatever you wanted to store in there. Just gonna get the cameraman to do a quick pan around the interior of the vehicle, show you how well it has been kept. The leather seats in this car have been kept in, in great condition. Um, you've also got your genuine um, rubber floor mats in here as well. So I do recommend you come down and view this vehicle for yourself. All right guys, that wraps up our walk around video of this 2014 Toyota Hilux SR5. I hope it has given you a good insight to how well this vehicle does present. I do recommend you come in, take it for a test drive and view it for yourself. This car does also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan and what that is, it does cover you for five years, up to 200,000 kilometres of mechanical and electrical cover. It does also give you 10 years of platinum roadside assistance and much more. If you do want to view this car, take it for a test drive or have any questions for us, the number to call is 9907 555.